today we have the Seagate Fire Cuda. I'm not going to stop that music. Um, the Fire Cuda 530. I'm going to put it in the PlayStation 5. As many of you know, the PlayStation 5 doesn't come with a lot of internal space. And I've been using a external hard drive to store the games on, but that is just kind of slow. So I figure I would break down and buy the, uh, uh, you know, a faster drive for some more storage. And, you know, I've been hearing good things about this drive. This is my first Seagate drive. I hear good things and bad things about Seagate. I mainly use Samsung drives, but I figured I'd try this one. Seeing it's getting such good reviews for the PlayStation. It's supposed to be one of the fastest drives on the market. So, I just hope it holds up. I've, like I said, I'm usually a Samsung guy. I've never had any trouble any Samsung drives in the past. I'm still using a one terabyte mechanical hard drive from 2009 in my computer. It's been going strong for that long. Looks like you get some stickers. Nice. Some more stickers. But yeah, maybe you, someone in the comments could let me know about how if they had any luck with the Seagate. Like I said, I've been hearing some bad things about their mechanical drives, but I've never really owned a Seagate before. But I've been hearing such good things about this little drive. It's heavy for its size. It looks like it's got a EK water block on it. Well, EK cooler. But yeah, it's expensive for that little thing. I know that. Okay, and the next part, I'll be installing it in the PlayStation 5. Okay, so. Okay, so. This is my first time taking off the side panel on the PlayStation 5. So, from my understanding, we pull up on the back corner you got your blu-ray drive here and we pull up on this corner and push down so let's see how hard this is well that was easier than i was expecting i've seen some other videos where it goes like flying off the table but that was way more simple than i thought it would have been so then we take off this cover here. And then if I'm not mistaken, there is a little spacer right here under the screw. And let's see where we're going to have to put that one. Just this slides in on an angle. Like I said, first time doing this. I've done this on the computer quite a few times. Okay, that's going to go at the 80 by the looks. So, take this screw out. Try not to lose a spacer or the screw. I don't have to tear the system apart. I don't think my screwdriver is magnetized. So we got the screw out now to get the spacer. And the spacer needs to go wet. 80. There we go. Got this 
spacer in. I don't know if you can see that. See, I put the spacer in at 80 here. Let's see if we can get a better angle on that. And now we slide in the M.2 on an angle. I should slide right in there. I still can't believe how expensive this little thing is. I don't feel that that's in there, but maybe. Um, I remember back in the day that my first SSD I bought for my computer was like, uh-oh. It was uh-oh, but... I guess I didn't screw that risk, got a little magnetized. First one I bought for my computer was like $130 for 64 gig. Well, I'm gonna get another screwdriver. Don't play around and lose this screw. Okay. I don't feel that is in there all the way yet. I'm struggling with this little screw. There, we should be good. I hope it's in there. I didn't feel... going easier. Now we'll put the cover back on. Let's hope this part goes a little easier. And let's see if the side plate goes back on as easy as it came off. Snap. There we go. We're still not. There we go. There, now we'll put it back together and we'll check the speed. See you in a bit. And this is the first boot up with the new M.2. I don't know if we can, we can all see that well. Okay, well, format to M.2. Oh, it's going fast. Well, we're at 6,541. Read speed. Not bad. And... Let's try copying a game to a new drive, see how that works. Okay, let's move Spider-Man over. Okay, this is my external storage, this one is slow. We have one terabyte free, which is nice. Okay, let's copy. Spider-Man over, 53 gigabyte. Oh wow, this is way faster than the external drive. It took me like 35 minutes to copy over 
30 gig game to the external drive. So this is uh, way faster. Anyways, hopefully this video helped out anyone looking to buy a M.2 drive for your PlayStation 5. It, it's really easy to install. No trouble except for I didn't push it all the way in. Make sure you push it all the way in. And Wow, that was fast. Let's try copying that same game back. So we go to... Okay, let's move this back to the internal storage. Oh no, did I click on the external storage? Let's cancel that. I, this doesn't look right. Well, maybe it's going faster now. Okay, let's look. Okay, yeah, that's console storage. Um, it looked like it was going slower moving it back to the console storage than it did from moving to the from the console to the M.2. Yeah, I do believe that's slower doing that. Okay, let's see how the game loads up. Running off the M.2. Oh yeah, looking good. Anyways, thanks for watching, and see you again soon.